top five common mistakes people tend to do when they play area F2. And in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly what those five mistakes are. Yo, 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 what is going on guys? It's your boy here. I'm all bringing you back another Area F2 video. Before we jump into this video, let's get straight to the Twitter shout out winner. So today's winner is Eman Savage YouTube with a tweet that says, wow, I just found one of your videos in my recommended section and I really enjoy them and your amazing dance moves. Hey, <laughs> and as a 13 year old who has just started a YouTube channel, you really inspire me to do more. Yo, E-Man, keep up the grind, my brother. Good luck with YouTube and thank you so much for the positive tweet. If you guys want a chance to have a shout out in my next video, all you need to do is tweet at me at I'm all from YouTube. With that being said, guys, we're going to jump into the top five common mistakes people tend to do when it comes to Area F2. But guys, remember, there is a competition going on right now. So if you haven't already, click onto events, click onto recruitment and use my recruitment code right now. You will earn yourself 500 free gold and a free skin if you do this. You must be under level five though. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. Also, join my Discord link in the description down below. Right, let's do this. Right guys, the first common mistake people tend to do when it comes to Area F2 is something which is called mag dropping. If you guys don't know what this is, it's pretty much when you spray down a door or a window and then reloading, but you're putting yourself at a very bad disadvantage. I'm going to give you an example of the correct way and the incorrect way. Bear in mind, guys, I'm not a professional at this game, but I'm just trying to give you the best tips and tricks to potentially do and to stop doing when it comes to the game. Okay, so mag dropping is pretty much where I'm gonna spray this window down and then reload. So the incorrect way when it comes to this is, I've sprayed down the window. Now I'm gonna reload, but I'm in a really bad place when I'm reloading. So this gives an enemy the chance to wait around a corner, listen out to when you're shooting the window, and once that window is smashed and there has been no movement within a split second, he's going to jump out and pop you because he knows exactly where you're shooting from because this is what headphones are for. And also he knows that you are on low bullets and or you may be reloading. So I'm going to show you the correct way how to do this. So when you're mag dropping a door or window, what you're going to want to do is get yourself some cover like this big, nice, van <laughs> and uh, once you've actually mag dropped do not reload straight away look how many bullets i've still got left in the chamber i have 11 bullets this is going to vary per weapon but just stay there wait if an enemy pushes you voila you have baited the enemy but if an enemy doesn't push you don't be tricked just make sure you go into a safe place so the enemy can't see you and reload when it's safe to do so. So the second common mistake, I briefly went over this in my last video, and that is drones and cameras. These are important gadgets which give you and your team the information to be able to win rounds. So when it comes to drones, as you already know, when you're attacking, your drone is automatically placed. So the first one is what I like to call a pet drone so what a pet drone is is to be able to locate the first site but if you already know where the first site is take that drone place it to an entrance where you want to enter the building so for example i want to enter from this main front lounge here so to be able to enter this safely i want to make sure that my drone is in a safe place to call enemies out if i'm going to push that area so i'm just going to take for an example this is an obstacle right here and I'm in a nice spot here where the enemies can't see my drone. I know it's not the best of spots, guys, because it's a target and that's not going to be in the real game. But you, you understand where I'm coming from. But I'm going to be entering from this side of the building. Okay, so first thing I want to do is take cover. Click on my drone and make sure there's no enemies. Okay, so what I mean pet droning is take your drone around. Have a look behind all hidden obstacles and surfaces and make sure that there's nobody lying around in any crafty corners. And if there isn't, you and your team can now push into this place safely. Okay? Like I mentioned, you have two cameras. 
Okay, I don't know why I pointed up five fingers. You have two cameras. So the first camera can be your pet drone. The second camera though, guys, is not a camera where you can just take to the site, scan the enemies for some free points and get your drone destroyed. No, don't do this. That is the worst mistake you can do when it comes to the game. Because that drone is going to save your life or your teammate's life, okay? So the second drone, what I like to do is place it in a nice location where maybe it can stop lurkers from killing you. So for example, if the objective was on the second floor, I'm going to place my drone on the first floor in a nice little place like this. So, for example, if I was on the staircase on the second floor, ready to push the target, and an enemy came across on the first floor to come and flank me, guess what? My drone is going to capture that footage and give me the information. So the way my drone's gonna give me this information is teamwork, guys, okay? So teamwork is very important. If you die, don't go and rage. Don't go take a, you know, a dump in the toilet. <laughs> don't go and get yourself food. You are in a ranked game for a reason, because you want to win. So help your teammates win. Because you died, you are not the god, okay? You are a god together as a team. So jump on your drone and call the information out. Right, so we're still in the same common mistake, which is number two. And I'm going to talk briefly about cameras, okay? So when you're defending, cameras are your best friend again. Everything applies exactly the same as, as drones. Use the cameras wisely to call information. And if you die, then make sure you jump straight on a camera and help your teammate with, you know, call outs and information. Please, for the love of God, this annoys me. If you're droning or if you're defending and using the cameras, do not scan enemies okay yes scanning enemies is part of the game blah -de blah -de blah but if you're playing as a team do not do it because as soon as you scan an enemy it will detect them it will show them that they are being detected okay so the enemies are going to be looking out for drones or cameras if you're defending and as soon as they find what's detecting them what are they gonna do they're going to destroy them so don't do it guys just use communication instead keep your drone safe keep your cameras safe cameras it's a little bit different though because cameras get destroyed quite often so hopefully they bring an operator or an agent into this game which uh you know you have portable cameras so the third common mistake i see a lot of people do and i mean a lot maybe 80 to 90 percent of the players that i've played with since playing this game i just said play quite a lot that mistake is choosing the same agent every single round or every single game on different maps. Don't do this, guys, okay? Yes, there are some very, very good agents compared to others, but it's not about choosing the best agent, okay? It is, again, I can't rephrase this as much as I am doing right now. This game requires teamwork, and if you are not in a team, then it requires you being smart and not just going for the kills. So let's uh, break this down into two steps. So let's go with the being smart part of this mistake. So being smart, if you are playing solo ranked and you see your team using like Fermite and, you know, Hammer and Wildfire and Boulder, what are they missing there? They are missing a Magnet, which has an EMP grenade. So play smart. Let your team choose their agents first and then you can help them out by choosing an agent which is missing in that lineup to help win the round. So on to the second part of the agents. So when a lot of people choose the same agent over and over and over again, this is not going to work for you, okay? You might have some amazing games from time to time, but it's not what you need to do, okay? Every map requires different agents. Every tactic requires different agents. So it depends how your team likes to play. And also, every map location requires different agents. I don't mean change your agent every map. I mean change your agent pretty much every location of every map because different locations require different walls being breached, different smoke grenade spots, and different equipment spots. So guys, make sure you're not that person that literally loads into a game and goes, oh, I want hammer, oh, I want him. No, don't do this, okay? Don't do it. All right, the fourth common mistake I'm going to go through with you guys is 
sights. So attacking and defending have different sights on different guns. And this is very important to take into consideration. Again, this is pretty much what map you're playing on and what objective you're going for, okay? So at the moment, I'm defending. There are many different agents with different sights and, and whatnot. The most common one for defense is red dot sights. There is one agent that has an ACOG scope, which is Fortress. As you can see, he has all of the sights that attackers have. Again, though, this comes down to number three common mistake about choosing the same agent over and over again. ACOG scopes are very useful, but they come useful when it comes to the right times to use them. So Fortress will be good when it comes to long distance maps like Russian Station, for example. But when it comes to cargo, no, he's not going to be your best friend, okay? Because ACOG scopes, they are very good when it comes to destroying an enemy long range. But when it comes to short range, it is hard to flick your scope to different enemies. So if there's multiple enemies coming at you, it's hard to be able to get multiple kills. But if you choose the red dot site or the reflex or whatever site you're most comfortable with, it's a lot easier to see. And what I mean by see is with an ACOG scope, it is pretty much barrel scope, okay? Barrel vision, which is your ACOG scope, you can't see anything around it. But when it comes to a red dot site, the red dot site will only fill half of your screen and you can still see around. So this allows you to be able to flick a little bit easier to enemies because you can pinpoint them a little bit better. The exact same applies to when you're attacking. I see a lot of people on very small maps with ACOG scopes. It don't always help guys, okay? Believe me. But when it comes to attacking, depending on what agent you're using, this doesn't include Hawkeye. Hawkeye is, is just sniper so <laughs> we are talking about ar scopes okay panther i like panther okay because panther is one of my favorite agents i play with this agent with no scope when it comes to small maps so when it's cargo i don't use a scope on him because it's close quarters but if it's like russian station for example i'm going to be using an acog scope because it will help me peek through windows and through sneaky little spots to kill enemies that are inside the objective all right guys the fifth and the final common mistake i see people do in this game is pretty Pretty much not using their utility and their equipment as much as they should be. So this game is, is like playing chess, okay? Every bit of equipment and gadgets and everything you have in this game is put in the game for a reason, okay? So I'm going to take Wildfire for example here. He has a crossbow and flashbangs. You can customize your gadgets as well, guys, and your utility when you're picking your, your agent. But I'm just going to take this as an example. So a lot of people, you know, they probably use this bow. But they don't use his flashbangs. But guys, it's a team game again. So for example, if we're going to enter this building here, make sure somebody's droned in. They've, they've said it's clear. But if they say there's one in there, then play crafty. You, you blow that up. But then what you want to do then is use a flashbang and pop it in. And then go in okay so j j this tip well this mistake should i say it's just it's very simple guys most of these mistakes that i'm showing you right now is very simple but it's just how you adapt to them you need to change your game sense okay i've, I've said this multiple times this game is not like call of duty not like critical ops not like standoff not like any other kind of fast-paced games. I know Critical Ops isn't that fast-paced, but it's a lot faster than this. Just be smart when it comes to, to playing the game. This, Like I said, this game is like playing chess. Take one movement at a time and take it slow. Slow players are more commonly to be able to catch other players that play a lot faster out and eliminate them. Right guys, I hope this video helped you out a little bit and if you're new to the game then like I said earlier in the video don't forget to use my recruitment code in events and recruitment. There it is right there on screen for you. But uh, yeah, I enjoy making these videos and a lot of you are requesting a lot more tips and tricks. So I'm going to be trying to do as many of these as I possibly can until I completely run out of ideas. But I'm also guys going to be doing live streams as well. I've, I did a live stream yesterday for my 10,000 subscriber special. And, uh, you know, we hit just under 500 current viewers. That is a lot of people. So thank you to everybody that joined. Also, guys, I want to be post, I want to post, um, you know, some ranked gameplays and, and other footage as well. 
So bear in mind, this channel is not just going to be tips and tricks. It's going to be a mix of the game. It's just going to be fun, friendly, you know, content. So I hope you, I hope this it helped you. And uh, if it did, then like I said, drop a like, subscribe. I will see you in the next video, guys. Peace out.